He died serving our country, and now the body of a Rock County man comes home to a hero's welcome tomorrow. Corporal Ben Neal was killed last week in an IED explosion in Afghanistan. The 21-year-old had several awards, including the Bronze Star, Purple Heart, and Army Commendation Medal. New at 10, the night team's Theo Keith shows us how the corporal is being honored. Theo. Eric, a couple of hundred people came out today to meet Larry the Flagman Eckhart. The Illinois man travels around the Midwest with 2,100 flags. They get planted in the hometowns of fallen heroes to welcome them back home. Tonight, it was Orford, Orfordville's time to turn red, white, and blue. I cannot thank you enough for coming out. This is the Flagman. I do not discuss the war. All I care about is our heroes, which are fallen, but this kind of reminds you why they are fallen. And these are his flags. We're going to line every place in town he's going to travel. We're going to have to divide you up into groups. The first 15 minutes of this thing is going to be utter chaos. This is how his mission gets carried out. We are lining the road for this young man's travel back home to his family. Now if we can get another truck backed up here. Okay, we're going to send you guys down to the American Legion. What brings you out today? My daughter went to school with him. I have a son in the military who's done a couple of tours overseas, and it's very close to my heart. I guess it's a welcome home. It's a thank you. It's a lot of things. It's what the community can do for the people that serve the community. Pretty tight-knit community. It's a pretty big military population in this area. And this is how Orfordville will welcome back its fallen hero. Only in America do we, this is what we live for right here. Here you go. Good job. Corporal Neal is obviously a hero. There's no doubt about that. But to me, every one of you are heroes too. People don't always support the war, but you got to support the boys and girls that wear the uniform and are out there every day keeping us safe here at home. If he could see it, uh, he'd feel real good. There's no way we're going to bring him back, so... Uh, we can certainly welcome them back, though. And 2,100 flags there in Orfordville. Neil's body will return straight through them tomorrow morning. A motorcade will lead him into town from Janesville's airport just after 9 a.m. Wow, what a moving gesture from the folks of Orfordville. Theo, and this is really, this is just the, the first show of support here, right? It really is, Eric. There will be a public visitation Monday at Parkview High School in town. And then his funeral is set for Tuesday. Well, our thoughts and prayers with those folks down there in Orfordville and his family, especially. Theo, thanks.